वन महाकुंभ मेला वन हरिद्वार वन रिवर गंगा येट टू महायोगी देवरह बाबा इन द इयर 1986 एटी सिक्स हरिद्वार कुंभ मेला महायोगी श्री देवरह बाबा वॉज सीटेड ऑन इज लॉफ्ट डेली इन अस मैनर ये ह्यूज क्राउड ऑफ डिवोटीज वुड गैदर नियर महायोगी देवरह बाबा लॉफ्ट पीपल felt glorified on attending mahayogi devraha baba's sacred darshana and those who did not get the chance to have darshana would repent saying that only when mahayogi devraha baba's desires can then they have his darshana even if we intensively desire yet without mahayogi devraha baba's assent nothing can be achieved not only the huge crowd have mahayogi devraha baba's darshana but a big teeming crowd of great saints too would rush for the same one day in the year 1986 haridwar kumbh mela when the shahi shan took place all leading saints mahans decided to humbly invite mahayogi devraha baba to bathe first in the brahmakunda on the shahi shan day it is a protocol that nagabasa are given the opportunity to bathe first if anyone even tries to bathe first before these nagabas the latter start fighting and may kill the culprits too those who have stayed for a whole of 1998 haridwar kumbh mela should be well aware of how worthful is the nature of these nagabas yet when any religious sect community or caste would hear the name of mahayogi devraha baba they all would immediately renounce all enmity and communal hatred so has to calm down totally all of them would yearn devotedly that let us all rush to devraha baba for darshana and get a supreme sacred blessings those devotees who had got devraha baba's darshana in 1989 prayagraj india kumbh mela can definitely understand how craze and frenzy is a huge throne of devotees to even have split of second darshana of mahayogi devraha baba well when mahayogi devraha baba was honorably invited to bathe first during the shahi shan day in the 1986 haridwar kumbh mela initially Mahayogi Devraha Baba refused point blank yet later after a lot of humble plague made by leading saints mahans and jagat guru shankaracharyas etc gathered there mahayogi devraha baba relented and agreed to divinely grace his auspicious occasion very soon this shahi shan day arrived in which mahayogi devraha baba was a very special divine guest of the honor in every kumbh mela they set up a central microphone wherein if any speech music etc is spoken in it the entire crowd of more than 200 lakh people can hear it and thousands of speakers set up in the major area helps everyone there listen to the speeches etc for many days at a stretch announcements were being made regarding mahayogi devraha baba's arrival at brahmakund on the shahi shan day so that everyone would get the message thus thousands of people had gathered there to have mahayogi devraha baba's divine darshana since government officials were aware of mahayogi devraha baba's arrival there they had made tight security arrangement in order to control this massive crowd so many police vans together reached mahayogi devraha baba's loft in order to bring him to the kumbh mela spot that was a bit far away amongst these vans some of them had police officers with wireless sets when these officers reached mahayogi devraha baba's loft they saw that even there there was a teeming crowd of devotees rushing forward to have mahayogi devraha baba's darshana wherein a few journalists were interviewing mahayogi devraha baba 
in the meantime a person from doordarshan called mahendra maharshi had come there to telecast mahayogi devraha baba's interview on television even today half an hour footage of this tv shoot is in the possession of the doordarshan tv some journalist had a question that why was mahayogi devraha baba not going to the main spot of shahishan mahayogi devraha baba replied child you all may benefit a lot by bathing there but no benefits are accrued by me for me almighty lord in the form of river ganga is present everywhere whenever i bathe there all rivers manifest for a master yogi bathing the physical body is not so much of importance as the bathing of the mind in our language it is said that whosoever has cleaned up the dirt of psychic has actually bathed enough for eternity but if you clean your physical body with great care yet in 8 to 10 hours it becomes dirty again and you have to bathe it again even if for a whole life you keep on cleaning your physical body with a great care yet it can never be purified for long lasting manner when the mind is bathed properly through yoga practices devotion to god remembering god association with god realized saints gurus etc the darkness of mind is thrown away and thus that person's to sanctification takes place for eternity in the meantime the government officials while reminding mahayogi devraha baba to go with them to brahma kund prayed thus o revered baba today is the day and hour of bathing in brahma kund for which you have kindly given your permission to take you there please do come with us there a huge motley crowd consisting of saints mahans etc is waiting impatiently for you so that the shahishan can come and mahayogi devraha baba said o oh child do listen to my sacred message do you see what a beautiful wave is dancing the holy river ganga i am talking of the eternal bath and you are shouting about the physical bath mahayogi devraha baba's face deemed with a smile of sheer divine ecstasy and his eyes brimmed with nothing but divine compassion with unlimited for all being of cosmos after some time the officials again reminded devraha baba so that latter said o oh child i am present equally just about everywhere for me going somewhere or coming back is just the same child you must bathe in the nectar of my holy teaching and dive into the waves of almighty god merely if a great god realized saints divine eye falls on a devotee or by conversing with a saint or by mere darshana of a such a saint the dirt of creatures mind gets washed off totally this then is a true well being of a devotee and true bathing too in the meanwhile a message was received on the wireless by the officer standing near mahayogi devraha baba from fellow officers doing duty at the shahishan bathing spot on talking to the officers at the shahishan bathing spot they were astounded to hear what they had to say the senior officer of brahmakund shahishan area was saying that mahayogi devraha baba was already bathing at brahmakund and hence we want you to know where you all are officers are who who had been gone to receive mahayogi devraha baba at his lot please do come here immediately to the brahmakund and take up your positions of duty because the crowd is going beyond the control it goes without saying that devraha baba by donning another body through his wondrous yoga divine power had manifest at brahmakund also there thousands of faithful devotees were touching his hollowed feet in reverse and on attending mahayogi devraha baba's darshana with a divine smiling face 
they felt self fulfilled on receiving his holy grace over here about 3 to 4 km away from brahmakunds shahishan area mahayogi devraha baba was seated on his loft with a divine smile on his face and giving nectaring teachings to all present the news of this mind blogging incident of 1986 spread not only in kumbh mela and haridwar but also in foreign countries next day leading newspapers published this astounding news as a bold headline on the front page